Hey y'all, this is Jessica with Bless Your Heart. Let's do a candle inspired tumbler today. If you'll notice on your lid, you have these little lines and that's just a good quick cheater method to get a good half and half. Just gonna use a silver Sharpie basically because it blends and it'll come out easy with alcohol. What I'm using here is one of those line edger tools from Kel Bell Customs. I took the plunge and saw her on a TikTok and decided to go ahead and buy it. And I've got to say, it was a very good purchase. Here's the candles I saw at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use one of these wall clings that I got from my Shop With Me video. So now I'm gonna use the lines that I used with my Kill Bell Customs line tool. And I'm just gonna put this little tiny painter's tape. It's just a huge package I got from Amazon. I will link it down below. Once I get side to side, which is gonna be true half, cause you know, we used our lid. I'm gonna go and split one side. So I guess this would be considered like a three-way split tumbler. I just kind of wanted to get all of these elements on a cup and this was, the best way I knew how. Please note the rookie mistake here in doing the lightest glitter first. 10 out of 10, don't recommend, but we both know it's gonna happen again. So this I'm gonna use just white paint and I mix some little Mod Podge in it and we're gonna use West Texas Glitter Mr. Freeze. And we're gonna go full coverage on this section. There's a few times that record was hard to press, so forgive me. For this base, we're using King's Gold, and then the glitter is Fool's Gold. Again, this was mixed with a little bit of Mod Podge. I did go in and seal my glitter with polycrylic, and I'm gonna try my best to use this painter's tape all over again, just to kinda help mask off my areas. Now you see that little lovely piece decided to tear on me, cause why not? So what I'm gonna do is pull another piece out and then I'm gonna kinda de-sticky it on my apron that I wear. And hopefully that doesn't pull up our glitter. Another hard to press record moment. This base is dark gray and the glitter is going to be Disco Dust. Here's one of the wall clings that I bought. And we're just gonna put this all over that gray. This is after a layer of epoxy. We're gonna put this on. I'm gonna try to use the hinge method best I can. These are all kind of each individual piece, but attached to that long stem. So you kind of have to be a little bit careful with it or they'll kind of tear on you. Um, thankfully, it didn't have that. And I caught it right before it did it, but it could happen. Once you get this on to the best of your ability, you wanna make sure that you go in and press it down really well because it is meant to be removable. For the white section, I just made two separate sizes of rectangles. I will try to remember what it was, the sizes were, and put them in the description. I'm just gonna put it all on this white, remove my transfer tape, and then take off, use my craft knife to remove all of those pieces that are hanging off into the next section. This is just some random black vinyl I had in one of my overstock drawers. I don't know brand or anything, but here we go. This is one of those instances that you really do need a super sharp craft knife. I know that we all have those lovely ones hanging out in our craft room. This one is a new blade, so it is kind of cutting like butter. Once you get that done, go move on to the gold section. I'm doing polka dots. I did two dots in two separate sizes. Do not remember the sizes of those either. We're gonna end up cutting some of them and moving some of them around and just kind of making it all fit. Again, with the super sharp craft knife, you wanna go in and cut it at the edges. Some of them I peeled up and moved to another spot. Some of them I took up completely. 
but you just kind of want to make it look as balanced as possible. And there we go. I did do another layer of epoxy just to kind of smooth everything out. And this is just some textured Cricut gold that I've already had cut in my drawer. And I'm just going to line each section once. We're not doing anything super fancy with this. We're just trying to keep it plain and simple, easy peasy. Once you get all your line work done, you want to epoxy until smooth. And here we go. This is the last layer of epoxy. Thank y'all so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I hope to see you next time. Bye.